Hi, I'm Katherine Martin. During the month of July, my husband and I found ourselves in a remote Alaskan Eskimo village with intermittent electricity, no cars, and no running water. Upon returning home to our high-tech world and busy pace, I buckled back down to the business of attaining my associate's degree in graphic design. It has been my goal for several years to achieve a degree in the art field. After some research, I decided that graphic design was the place for me. Art, in some form, has always been a big part of my life. In high school, I loaded my schedule with as many art courses as was allowed. One of my favorite pastimes at that time was calligraphy. I never realized what a great background this would be for me when I find myself designing and choosing different fonts for various projects. After my marriage, I was presented with a saw, a drill press, and a sander, and began my career in decorative painting. This was the perfect hobby for me as a young wife and mother. Not only did I have a creative outlet, it also brought in extra income for my family. During this time, I published two books containing my own designs. As time progressed, I became more active in helping organizations that I was involved in create professional-looking publications. These included church bulletins, a school yearbook, a constitution, and a full-color church directory. As my children became more independent and began to seek their secondary education, I felt it would be the right time for me to enhance my knowledge with more formal education. I chose the Art Institute of Pittsburgh online division and have worked steadily to achieve my associate's degree in graphic design, taking two short breaks during the process to take part in some short-term mission opportunities. My skills have definitely expanded with training in logo development and branding, package design, web design, digital image manipulation, and digital illustration. I'm already using these skills personally and as a volunteer at our church. I've developed logos for three different clients and have designed print materials including pamphlets and brochures and posters. I know that this is only the beginning. More requests are coming in every day. I feel that my biggest strength is my background in traditional art. I have strong drawing and painting skills and can create original artwork, both in this media as well as digital illustration. I feel that this is almost a lost art in this field with many designers preferring to use di the digital route and purchasing most of the graphic images. I also have access to hardware and software and strive to remain informed of new information and technology as it becomes available. My biggest weakness is that I tend to overthink things and want them to be perfect. Although this can be a hindrance because of the extra time that is taken, it can also be a benefit because hopefully the end product will benefit from this. I'm also weak in coding and web design. However, I'm working to learn more about it and make it part of my skill set. I find myself considering two different options for employment. The first option would be to freelance, working for various clients from my home. This is an attractive opportunity because it would allow me to set my own schedule and I would probably have more creative opportunities. The negative aspect of this would be that I would be less likely to have bring in a steady income and jobs may be non-existent or there might be too many at one time. The next option for a type of employment that I would prefer would be working for a non-profit organization like Samaritan's Purse. I've been privileged to work with Samaritan's Purse in the past as a volunteer and I would love the opportunity to work for them. I believe in their purpose and I fully support it. They consistently have openings for designers in both the print media and digital design. The biggest obstacle that I can see working for this organization would be relocation. Although many graphic designers can work from home, utilizing current technology, 
and communicating through the Internet, Samaritan's Purse requires in-house staff. Personal traits that would serve me well include putting the customer's demands at the top of my list. I'm a hard worker and committed to doing a top-notch job on time and under specifications. I'm honest and loyal and will do a good job for my employer. The years I have spent as a co-owner of a dairy business with my husband help me to understand the workings and responsibilities of running a business which helps me to appreciate management more. I'm a self-starter who can work independently. Through my time at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh and the many projects that I have developed over the years, as well as my experience managing a small business, I feel that I'm ready to enter the workforce as a graphic designer and will be an asset to my employer. Thank you.